administered by the members of the Society of Jesus, a religious order which runs schools, colleges, and universities in more than 105 countries in the world. The members of this order, popularly known as Jesuits, have acquired a reputation for excellence in the quality of education. Established in 1880, St. Aloysius College prides itself in its history of 142 years. Thousands of students who have passed through the portals of this institution have rendered outstanding service to humankind, not only in India, but across the globe. Despite its status as a minority institution, the college has imparted high quality education to all sections of the society, regardless of caste, color, or creed. The motto of the college, Lucet et Arde, which means shine to rekindle, has inspired countless students to become men and women with and for others and thus bring light and joy into the lives of people. It is for this reason that Jesuit education has become a touchstone for evolving new paradigms in higher education. We, the 1972 graduation batch of this great institution, were fortunate enough to be one among those hundreds of batches that have passed out of its portals and made to blossom into men of competence, compassion, conscience, and commitment. As we have gathered here to celebrate the Golden Jubilee, the once-in-a-lifetime moment, we go back to that adolescent phase of our lives that shaped our future and made us what we are today. The great honor and a privilege, I must say, that you all have come back to celebrate your own reunion in a very, very special way of having this wonderful event. I would say this is a momentous occasion that we have at St. Elvishus College. 1971, that kept saying, which year were you born? I said 74. When we passed out, you are not yet born. He was 72, it's the same. I was not even born at that time, much younger, but then I'm able to take this responsibility only because of your prayers. And we are very happy that you all come back to your own Alma Mater, that is Nourishing Mother. 72, Mr. Harold Fernandez beautifully said, what are those sweet moments? And some of them said, you are lucky that today we have got sweeter girls here with us. And this time we have got the president of the college, is a girl. And uh, the girl students are leading this college. <laughs> that is the change that has happened from 1986 onwards. So you could see the numbers. Mr. Harold was speaking about 276 students graduating from your batch. Now almost about 2,000 students graduate only from degree college. So in 2000 and 2001, college was bifurcated. All of you know the PUC and degree were bifurcated at that year. Before that, all our professors teach both in the PUC as well as in the degree classes. After that, the board institutions have grown. Today, PUC has almost about 4,500 students only there. And college has with undergraduate and postgraduate programs almost about 7,000 students. There are almost about 21 postgraduate programs are run here. And we are very happy that all these 21 postgraduate programs have become research centers recently. And we have almost about 38 students who are doing their research in the college itself. There is a huge growth in that way. And tomorrow is the foundation day of St. Aloysius Institutions, a very important day. And one day before, January 11th, that you all have come together, I'm sure that tomorrow you will all be there. And that foundation day marks very important events. As I kept saying that from your time onwards, there's a centenary year, and after that, so much of growth has taken place at St. Elvishus College. Not only in terms of numbers, but also in terms of the 
other facilities that have come to this college. So these beautiful facilities have come over the years only because of the help that was rendered to us by our alumni. Alumni have been really ambassadors of this college. You all have achieved great heights. And whenever somebody says they are from St. Elisha's College, and that is the right moment for us, saying that our own students are doing so great work, and they're all taking this torch of St. Elisha's College to the world. And everywhere we feel so proud that our students are doing extremely well, and you, your batch has been as much proud wherever you are, in your own profession, you have shown the excellence Academically, you have shown the character formation and also the social concern for the others. That we hear a lot. And that is the strength of all the batches and especially your batch coming together and celebrating this event. Humbled to stand before you, addressing you because I see so many of you, my seniors, uh, Father Praveen Mata said he was not born. I think I was born, I was in the state and wishes myself. In 72, I would have been in class 3 or 4. And uh, uh, those were the days when we looked up to all these college students. Those days we went to college, whether we were in the primary school or whether we were in the high school or the college. We went to St. Elias's College. Yelly Vota again, there was a college early on there. All of Yelly Vota again, because it was their whole institution was known as a college. <coughs> And this college had such great feelings for us because uh, that is where all our generations who had studied. And today when I see you here, after 50 years, come back to the institution, uh, having accomplished so many things in life, and coming and honoring your teachers because you are what your teachers uh, have made you. And therefore, honoring your teachers is so very significant, so very meaningful, I am deeply touched. <coughs> Having said that, I know how many memories you have. You have to thank God for memories. Memories of your past uh, days spent in this institution. You have got a heart, you have got a mind, the mind acting uh, recalls the memories. But when you recall those memories, something happens to your heart. Your heart is prompted to do something. And sometimes to do mad things. Someone looking at it from outside may say, why do they have to wear these gowns and why do they have to, people who are not connected who don't feel it, would say, why do they have to do all these kind of ceremonies? But for those of us who have a heart, those memories trigger such sentiments Sentiments of joy, sentiments of gratitude, sentiments of wanting to go back to those moments, no? Some years ago, I remember in one of the institutions in Bangalore where I was studying, there was a son of an IS officer who had to, the IS officer got transferred suddenly. And the son who was so attached to the school had, had to leave. He was studying in some other institution. Of course, an IS officer did change schools. But this boy got attached to this Jesuit school of ours 